So Age UK Camden have asked me to share some music today from my home to your home. I'm Sarah and I play the clarinet and piano and I live here in Peckham with my husband Sam who's a trumpet player. He's going to join us a little bit later to do some music for trumpet and piano. Now I can't accompany myself on the piano so what I thought I'd do uh, is pre-record myself with a line of clarinet music from a clarinet duet and then play on top of it um, to make the full piece. So this is the clarinet sonata for two clarinets uh, by Poulenc and it's the second movement, the Andante, which is a slow movement. Uh, it's quite a beautiful lyrical piece uh, and I hope you enjoy it. I'm going to play another duet next. Now this is originally written for the cello and the clarinet, but I also play the bass clarinet. Uh, and I thought, well, it has the same range as the cello, so why not try pre-recording the bass clarinet line to play the cello part, and then I could play the clarinet part live on the top. Um, this is a lovely lullaby uh, by the composer Howard Scampton. Just a short piece, and again, andante, quite relaxing and nice and lyrical. Just put this track on now. Bear with me a second, all this technology. Okay, so Howard Skempton's Lullaby. Thank you. 
So there we go, Howard Skempton's Lullaby for clarinet and cello, but played on the bass clarinet and the B-flat clarinet. Um, I'm going to finish off my little section of today's concerts with a piece that was written for solo clarinet. Um, it's by a composer called Anton Stadler. Uh, you may have heard of him. He was the clarinet player that wrote the term that Mozart wrote his clarinet quintet and uh, his clarinet concerto for. Um, Mozart was taken around Europe to perform as a young child uh, and as a young adult uh, to show off his amazing skills on the piano, but also to um, gain some inspiration from other musicians. Uh, and it was when he visited the court orchestra at Mannheim that he heard the clarinet for the first time, played by Anton Stadler. Um, so this piece is a caprice, uh, and it's a kind of play on lots of different themes of Mozart. So if you know any of the Mozart operas, there's some little bits from the overtures and some of the arias that pop up. Um, there's also one tune in there that's definitely not by Mozart. Um, see if you can spot what it is, uh, and maybe I'll ask you at the end what you think you thought it was. Just get this music out.
so there were lots of Mozart opera themes. We had Don Giovanni, we had the Magic Flutes, we had Marriage of Figaro. And the theme that was not by Mozart was the national anthem. For those of you who thought it might have been God Save the Queen at the time then, it would have been God Save the King. Now I'm just going to go and grab my husband Sam, who's going to come in so we can perform some trumpet and clarinet music together. Um, but at the moment he's looking after our little son Leo, who's six months old, so hopefully we can put Leo at the side of the room and he'll be quiet enough for the next bit of the recording. So bear with us just a second uh, while we reset the room a little bit. Uh, we're going to finish with um, Sending the Clowns and Misty on the flugelhorn and piano. Bye. Uh -huh. 